Alright, welcome back to the league race. This time we are in Japan and we are with TMC. Uh, straight into things, into qualifying. I did a 29.1 as a banker, which I was actually disappointed by, to be honest, because my fastest time in TT was a 27.9, and I was kind of heading into here with... I was confident, but I wasn't sure where it would stack up and uh, where possibly uh, I, would, I would be in comparison to others if I could do that. But we're going to take it on board for a lap around Suzuka and kind of oh, show you the do's and don'ts so and the such. So, uh, try and sweep in as best you can into this corner, nice and tight through turn one. Uh, God, okay, I actually got a bit of a compromised exit there, a uh, bit on the grass, and I'm kind of losing time. It should be, it should be kind of sweeping and flowing. So I haven't had the best start already to this lap. So uh, if I want to improve on this 29-1, there's going to be lots to do. But sweep through this Dunlop curve as best you can. I made up a good bit of time here. You really want to take this Stegner one flat if you can. I did a slight lift, made the corner, got straight, made up a good bit of time that way. Lost a bit on exit, but we'll try and get it back second uh, second gear through the uh, through the hairpin. I like to short shift my way up, but I might have done a long shift this time. Stick as tight as you can to this part of the track just to minimise the amount of ground you're covering because that's always what you want to do. Uh, seventh gear, I go down two to fifth. Clip the curb, uh, run out a bit, fourth again to bring it back in, get on the power nice and early, and I've made up a lot of time through this particular section of the track. Again, tight as you can to the left, and uh, through 130R sweep, and again, minimize the amount of track you're doing, purple or you're covering, and, uh, uh, and you go purple in sector two, and then down to third, try and clip both of these uh, corners as you come out of the chicane, and then again, tight as you can, minimize the amount of distance you're covering, and I did a 28.5. So uh, I was happy with that. That ended up being good enough for a P4. So I, <laughs> I tried to go out for another run. and Because uh, that first sector, as you saw, was pretty messy. Uh, and then got a decent start. And then clipped the grass a bit too much. Try and turn back in. Ah, no, Grip wasn't it. there. And I've had the slowest crash imaginable. Oh, wow. I went in that there had a look at it. It was 14 miles ever. an hour. The, uh, the speed I carried there, into that wall. So uh, congratulations, Code Masters! What a That's fantastic okay. I game! Really, I Thankfully, I stayed P4. And if you look at the distance between myself and uh, who got pole, Jose Ferreira, well, 1.87 right? tenths. I was about almost about seven, uh, seven hundredths of a second up, and then I lost a tenth basically. So I could have easily had pole position perhaps if I'd nailed that first sector, but alas, I am not. And this is where we are. So. Uh, strategy, I'm doing the one stop onto the softs, I want to pit around lap 10, be touch and go, but you can make it last, so, uh, but I was really nervous about turn one here, so, uh, five lights, drop it, uh, decent start, very decent start actually, I'm not under threat from low key from behind, was a bit nervous that Burst and low key were behind me, but just taking it really tentatively through the first corner, as uh, all these guys are, we had been warned beforehand, but I, me in particular, I ended up damaging my wing here last year, and I had good pace around this place in Division 4 last year, and uh, yeah, so that I felt like that on that day, that particular day, that was a race that got away from me, I feel like I was one of the fastest on track that day in Division 4, but we'll have to see how we get on here. For now, I'm holding position uh, in P4, I really shot myself through these Degners for a lot of this race, and that kind of lost a good bit of time through there, because uh, it's just so easy to lose the back end through the Deckners. It's a difficult corner to take because uh, the setup of one will lead into two. And uh, if you get your one wrong, your two will probably go astray as well. So, But we're holding position here in P4 nice and comfortably. Not under any immediate pressure from behind. Just getting the feel for everything, the grip. Uh, just trying to build confidence a bit. I went a bit wide or a bit too... I cut that bit too early there. But... Decent run out of Spoon, which is a really good up corner if you want to set up some overtaking opportunities if there's a significant difference in speed to the car in front. So, uh, But yeah, all, hold, all, all good so far, holding position. And uh, just kind of seeing where the pace is at, kind of if these guys are going to get away or not, or uh, can we keep low-key behind. So it was all just kind of getting the feel for it, as, as most races are at this stage of the race. But... Uh, excuse me, so there you go. That's lap one. Moving on to lap three. Again, we're kind of holding Sush, and this is what a lot, a lot of this first stint was this. Kind of just keeping pace with the guys at front, and uh, not under a real threat from low key from behind. 
I, the more and more this race went on, the more and more confident I felt that, the more I could hang with these guys. And uh, I was kind of, I felt like I could have been losing a bit of time even behind, stuck in the dirty air of, of Kevin. So, uh, but I go five tenths quicker through the second sector or for the lap, I think, overall. And uh, you're going to see the kind of pace that I kind of have here chilling in P4, as I'm sure Kev has in P3 as well, as I come across and set the fastest lap into the 32s, 32.5. So, pace is good at this part of the race. Excuse me, lap four. Uh, you can see how uh, how quick these guys, uh, how kind of close these guys get to each other. It's uh, <laughs> I'm watching with real interest here, and uh, they were kind of bridging a little bit of a gap, but this kind of allowed me to get back into it. Would they try anything heading up into turn one? Uh, no, Jose Ferreira holds that lead, but he's actually going to go wide, and this is going to allow us to pop through and take that position three. So now all of a sudden. We're in the podium spot, but you look like we're fighting for this win. Like, we're right there with Idrox and Kev. Like, it, we really, we were hanging on to these guys. Like, I'm not dropping Loki by any means, so he's in this fight too. But we were really, like, I was really there. So uh, I just felt quite good at that stage. And just just trying to get these tires and just be really careful through the Degners as I was not there. Ran wide, got myself a warning. And uh, so that wasn't great. But lap nine, uh, crucial part of the race. So... Excuse me, uh, so Kev pits, AFDC pits, Loki, who I got a bit of a gap on behind, he pitted as well. So my plan was always to take these to lap 10 and see where we could go. Uh, I felt my pace was okay, like I was still doing good times, and I might have enough gap. But then you see Idrox in front has actually gone wide. He's managed to keep the position, but he's going to have a second moment here as he goes through the S-curves. The and uh, just losing the back end. Have to be really careful, get right off the throttle. And uh, there you go, I move into the provisional lead of the race. Of course, I've yet to make a stop. But now I'm really wondering, it's like, oh, if I can get this outlap decently, where will I come out compared to Kev? Because Idrox I'm ahead of now. So, excuse me, lap 10. Here we go. Really careful entering this pit lane. You can get a penalty for entering it, obviously, too quickly. And it does creep up on you uh, in a hurry. So, uh, again, soft tires are going on till the end of the race. Bang, bang, bang. And I get, I get as quick as I can, and I manage to keep my position ahead of Idrox, who's on the medium tyre, so I've I sent an opportunity perhaps, but out of the pit lane, absolutely flooring it. I can see the Mercedes low-key behind me, and he's going to sweep just about into turn one. He goes a bit wide, I've, he's on the mediums as well, I've got more grip, and I thought, right, try and see if I can get this done. I get alongside him, I leave my nose in there, and he kind of turns across. For the corner, I see that as a racing incident myself. Uh, I actually somehow managed to catch that slide. Like I was so impressed, <laughs> impressed I was able to do so because that was that had disaster written all over. But managed to keep it and uh, managed to stay in front of Idrox as well. So we're still in a good position here. You can see I set the fastest middle sector there, and like I've made up, I've already made up a second on low key. So yeah, the, the pace difference you can see at this moment is really in my favour, and I'm I'm kind of. I'm not too happy at this stage because I I feel like I can be up there with Kev with AFDC. But he's ahead of Loki now and I'm kind of stuck behind Loki. I think I have the pace and on these medi on these soft compound tires, I feel like I have the faster package as well. So uh, I really need to get this moved on. But Kev isn't too far ahead. There's a couple of guys who've not pitted who started on mediums. Um, <laughs> I actually think you're going to see a. Uh, you're going to see a big come together. I think it's Richie and uh, and Kev. They come together. It looks like Kev may have squeezed Richie off, but I know there's an investigation going into that, so we shall see what the stewards say about that. But anyways, that moves us up a position, obviously. And Yeah, like, oh, I'm just... You look at the run I got out of, out of that hairpin on Loki. I put it up into Rich. Try and see if I can go around the outside. Try if I can get alongside him, put my car into Spoon. And get the move done, but no. Um, I decided to, there, there's a couple of occasions on this race where I decided to kind of wait because the, the better passing opportunity is kind of the hairpin and uh, obviously into turn one or maybe into the chicane. But here, got a really good run. Uh, low key goes defensive and uh, I can't have a look at the inside, but I kind of back off. I had to be careful when I did this because whenever I did this, obviously Idrox is right there as well. So I had to be careful. Idrox is trying alongside me now. He makes contact with us. I lose about a second to Loki, so um, 
that was annoying because I felt like ah and you can see I wasn't too happy so trying to get there but again lap 13 we're back with this gang now back behind low key Idrox is there with us still trying to get past and uh, I get a really good decent run compared to low key not sure what happened there as so he set the fastest lap of the race dip into the toe DRS uh, try to go down the inside into turn one thought I might have had this move and leave the space for low key he needs the space as well and he's going to the inside line for this first S and I can't, the track is not wide enough for me to hang around the outside so uh, good race in there from Loki but he keeps that P5 for now but I, I'm getting quite angsty at this stage because I, I know I'm faster and I, I just, I, ah uh, you know, I was frustrated but lap 15 uh, you can't see some of these guys struggling on those older tyres and uh, again, again, another good run out of this hairpin compared to Loki. These soft compound tires I'm really feeling at the moment. Uh, again, I have a seat to have a look, but nothing doing. Try and see if I can get a good run out of Spoon. One of my better corners through this, through this race. And again, I got a really good run out of Spoon. Pull up into Rich, and I'm thinking this has to be it. This has to be it. Please let it be it. Ah, uh, not far enough down the inside. I think he left the space anyway did low-key but I wasn't going to stick my car in there it just wasn't the right thing to do so I tried to if I couldn't get anything going out of spoon or into that chicane tr I try to see if I can get a better run out of the final corner so uh, but nothing doing this lap low-key will still have DRS from um you get fun Alonso and some of these guys pit it but now you can see we're in P3 and this is a fight for P2 and you can see I think that's Kev up there so the race win is not out of the question yet it really isn't but uh, lap 17, I think, is this the one? I think this could be the one. So I get a really good run out of the last corner. Rich Red, DRS, and I'm thinking, yes. I've never been this close before. This has to be it. So low key goes defensive. I go down the outside. I have the racing line for turn one. He leaves the space. We get the move done. But in trying to leave space for low key, I flipping went too wide. And I have, sp I have spun it. And... Uh, there you go. Oh, I don't. I I, just, I can't believe it. I really can't. Um, yeah, I mean, you try and leave the space, and it just it, turn one Japan is is hard to race around. It really is with side by side, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's bogus. But there you go. That's that's how it is. Uh, unfortunately, Bert actually man. Uh, before my car ghosted, he hit into me and he ended up getting wing damage. So that's how we got that move done on Bert. So apologies to him. Not much I could really do about it, to be honest. Um, oh, I'm so mad. Um, I'm so disappointed as well. Lap 22, though, we're carrying on. We're trying to get pa by. We're catch trying to catch up to Wesker. But F1 Alonso, who we were right behind as he, when he pitted, uh, has got blistering pace on the super soft. And he's been catching me as well. And I didn't really fight this one too much because I knew he was faster. Uh, it was only kind of a matter of time. He'd closed five seconds in on me, so uh, I just kind of let him go and see if he could make any endurance on Wesker and maybe take him with him. Lap 26, I've managed to catch up to Wesker. Uh, try and see if we can get something out of this race. Uh, I do have a penalty at this stage as well. I went wise too many times at Degner. Degner won, and uh, I do have a penalty. So I'm not sure what Wesker's situation is. We're going to try and get after him. Um, the thing with Loki was that uh, I'm, so, I'm so frustrated because he did nothing wrong, and I I didn't really either. Like I obviously I spun like I and I I wanted to leave space for Loki in case he left his car up the inside, but he didn't in the end. And I had the corner, um, I think, anyways. And uh, yeah, just uh, just span it. Um, I, like and I'm so frustrating because that was for a P2, and I don't know what the pace would have been compared to Kev in P1, but we'll never know, sadly. And uh, I couldn't get past Wesker in the end. Um, my tyres were going, but um, yeah, maybe another lap or two, perhaps I might have had better luck. But it's going to be P7 today for Suzuka. Another missed opportunity, just like last year at Suzuka for TMC. Except this one had carries so much more weight because it could have been a podium. It could have even been a race win because there's an investigation going on right now uh, with, with that incident between Kev and Richie. Um, 
and it really hurts to think about and um, so it does because yeah I, I, this is one of my better tracks the pace was there i was in a great position and uh yeah so there you go uh gg to everyone um good good job by wesker in the end to hold me off as well so i i you can tell in my voice i'm very disappointed i really am um and there's not much else to say like i'm just so disappointed that these opportunities don't come around too often uh, they really don't and some of these tracks have been kind of in my favor and yeah the win could have been there today especially like I mean, ugh, look I, i'm gonna be disappointed regardless like so there's not much i can really nothing can really make me feel better about that it is what it is i've 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 lost a podium possibly even a race win so Anyways, that's it for round number 16 of TMC Suzuka. Next up is Circuit of the Americas, where I am really determined to get a good result, kind of get myself back on track. So, until next time. <laughs>